For the most part, people used to respect consciousness. And there would always be food available for those willing to put some effort forth to respect the workers who made those products. Kind of like a relationship. between farm hand and starving mouth. But in these conditions I talk about over and over and repeat so many different ways. I'm stuck with neighbors who listen to techno rave music and bang my wall and force me to eliminate my heat to not be confused and disoriented in my home because she likes to hit and hit and hit and hit and doesn't appear to ever leave her home. I have a kitchen next to a bathroom shared by the neighbor and hear voices and hear sounds and hear bizarre noise. Not frequently, but mostly a lot. In other words, there's strangeness, there's psychedelia, there's trippiness, and there's hallucinatory now, but not really the teamwork of the past. What the Bible says, love thy neighbor. Treat others as you would like to be treated. A person can turn all volume down, be a ghost, a turtle, a monk, and a hermit. And a neighbor like I'm describing now persists and denies. vision, beauty, and clarity. And within the system as a whole, the example as a whole with all the different parts mixed in, there's this insistence on the social the group, the together. The slogan, the Facebook post, the Twitter thread, the Instagram followers. And part of what makes these conditions, these descriptions, risky, dangerous, and treacherous has to do with the part of the brain, the prefrontal cortex and other anatomy involved with social thought, thinking about life and others in the world. Voices, language, sound. Images, videos. Culture. And 
and more now. The social part of the brain has been taken over by the world and declared a necessity for mental health, well-being, and especially safety. And unfortunately, I'm mildly autistic and don't understand the bizarre repetitiveness of the etiquette demanded and stay out of their view who rule and dominate. do my books and shut up like they tell me now. With the excessive and the huge amounts of social requirement comes a lot of distraction for anyone who's not doing any activity with a friend, a lover, a family member who's on their own, has no mom, dad, sister, brother, or anyone around now. A person like my neighbor can in so many words begin to speak through the wall and tell and make bliss for all. Almost similar to the houses they had in the old days in the 60s and the 70s where they did a bunch of drugs dropped some LSD and freaked out. Probably hit walls like her over there. And in this world now, I am considered an angry, disgusting, and pathetic human for speaking these words out loud now about so much distraction and so much confusion caused by the insistence to be brave and accept the demand and the rules and meet the limits self-reliance gets to be hard with these kinds of examples being a good person a college graduate a researcher for graduate school and to eventually hopefully get accepted into pediatric medicine makes no difference. Capitol Hill, the neighbor next door, Seattle, the state called Washington, they're already there. They've already done all of the stuff that needs to get finished and completed. And all anyone has to do now is wait for the government to fall to see and believe the conservative be defeated, ruined, and trampled.
and goes against the whole principle and the purpose of self-reliance. Not having to join a team or be in a club or be a part of some rave or some gang with some thug or some rap hip hop bar. loving socialites but being successful and being in the world like the wolf with human skin soft eyes in a tone of voice with no harm, no violence, and no worry or concern now. But the voices, the talking, the strange conversations, and coincidental timing, they wear the brain down to where the body has to process the energy. And the mind gets eliminated. From the side effects with staring forward moving quickly in the home I've made now, alone, and not always being able to go from dimension to corner. For the risk having my ears hurt or my heart startled from a pounding and a deep breathing a huffing and a puffing and an exploding with music all of the sudden This happens not only in the home in Seattle and Capitol Hill, but outside the window, down at the grocery store, where so many people claim to be musicians and geniuses and brilliant thinkers and artistic savants. Now, the end.